Coming in at just over 4,500 pounds, under 26 foot, double over double bunk, 10 cubic foot refrigerator, and a campsite dinette. Folks, this is the all new Coleman Lantern LT 214BH, and you're gonna love it. And here we go, the 2021 Coleman Lantern LT 214BH. There's a lot to love in this floor plan, folks. Now, what you will notice right away is the fact that this one does not have any slides. Uh, of course, the downside of that is it's not quite as open when you get to your campsite. The upside is that what you see is exactly what you get. And while you're traveling down the road, you can easily get to the bed, get to the refrigerator, and get to the bathroom. The reason I like that, really like this floor plan is it kind of fits that, what a lot of people consider perfect size, right? It's right around that 26 foot mark, you know, under 5,000 pounds, um, and it still is a great family model, but it has a lot of amenities and I really do enjoy the layout. One of the things that's kind of minor, but I, I personally like, and you can kind of notice right away, is how much space you have as soon as you enter the RV. When you come in, you don't feel closed in. You have, you know, a lot of room. You even have enough space over to the side that if you wanted to like, you know, kick off a few shoes and put them in a row, you can do that. And I like that, you know, so that way they're not just clogging up the doorway. Or if you want to set them over off to the side, you want to put shoes over here, great. You still have access to the bed. And then of course, the campsite dinette. This is something again that I really like because this is my preferable view when I'm having breakfast, right? I'm sitting here, I wanna look out to my campsite. I wanna look out at my campfire. I don't wanna be looking off at the neighbors, so I enjoy it when they're able to put it on the campsite here. Now, this dinette, of course, does drop down into a bed, so you do get additional sleeping space there. And you can see I have a ton of space between my torso and the table, so it does make it nice and easy to get in and out of. Uh, underneath, you'll also see an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug anything in, whether it's tablet or laptop, kind of use this as a workstation, it is very easy to do that. Up top is storage all the way across, LED light there underneath. You have your stereo right here. This unit is Bluetooth capable, so you know that way if you want to hook up Spotify or Pandora or whatever via Bluetooth and play music, you can. Little cubby hole right up top there too. And you'll see the thermostat on the wall. Now, this thermostat will only control the furnace. There is an AC, you can see that right up top here, uh, with directional venting, so you can kind of open that up so that way uh, you can control the flow. So the reason I like this, right, is if it's, um, you know, daytime, you can kind of just open this one up, have it all dump right here on the dinette. If you're sitting at the dinette, if it's nighttime, you can just kind of open up the front and back, right? So it just kind of gives you, uh, toward the beds is why the front and back, but it gives you that, that directional flow, uh, which is pretty nice in an AC unit. And the controls for that, of course, are right on the AC unit itself. Now at its heart, this is a bunk model, double over double bunks, nice and big, 300 pound weight capacity on here. So uh, that way, you know, if you want two kids to a bunk, you can do that. USB ports, both top and bottom. That way the kids aren't fighting over it. On a rainy day, you know, you want them to uh, be able to play on a phone or a tablet, that gives them the capability to do so. And I will do this just to show you folks. Again, I am six foot tall. You can see I can completely lay out. I still have space here, but I can curl up nice and comfortable. So, you know, even if you want to use this as like a weekend getaway with friends, you can have adults still sleep in these bunks, which is great. And underneath, there is storage. Open that up. You can see that, good storage, right? Throw a duffel bag down there, maybe a, a, a laundry basket in the corner. So if you need a place to throw dirty clothes, there it is. If we take a look at the bathroom. So I'll take a seat here. This is probably the only drawback, in my opinion, to really the entire camper. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but I just don't have a ton of space for my legs. You know, you can see that my knees are almost up to the front. My my um, my toes are touching. So if you're a taller person, you know, I'm six foot, but if you're, you know, six two, six three, you probably want to sit here and make sure that you're going to be okay uh, as far as the leg space. But, you know, again, that's generally something that's not a huge deal. You can work around it. Um, but, you know, just one of those things that I, I just like to point out. You will see underneath the sink, some decent storage, of course, plumbing access, the countertop. I like the fact that it does come over like this. Um, the reason this is nice, because you know, if you have like a curling iron or something you need to set down, you can do so. 
Uh, of course, the sink is right next to that. It's nice and easy, big enough to wash your hands. The other thing I like is if you're brushing your teeth, you can see right here, you know, I have good clearance. You know, you're spitting out all the toothpaste. You're not gonna knock your head on the mirror. Right up top there is a robe hook. And as I step into the shower, again, at six foot, I can clear uh, even, even outside of the vent, I can still have enough space to stand completely up. Now, again, you're 6'2", six, 6'3", six, it's not going to be the case. You're going to have to bend down a little, uh, but there is a hand wand there to make showering a little bit easier. You know, if you're, if you're a taller person, you're probably just going to have to use the camp facilities if you love everything else about this camper. When we come back out of the bathroom, I'll open this up. So you'll see here, big storage space. Um, I, again, I guess I kind of, a part of me wishes they would have put like a small little hanging rod or something up there, but maybe just get a tension rod, you can toss one up. But that is a big storage space, good for you know pots, pans, clothes, whatever else you need to toss in there. And a couple of drawers right down underneath. Now this is a huge upgrade uh, for the, the Coleman Lantern line, especially being in the LT, the lighter weight models. Folks, this is a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. I mean, this is huge in this size RV. A lot of times, you know, you'll get like a six, a, a, maybe a seven, sometimes an eight, but to have a 10 cubic foot refrigerator in, in an RV this size, again, is great. Nice, easy travel lock there. And as I mentioned, it is 12 volts, so it'll just run off your batteries. You will see the microwave up top, the slimline hood right down underneath. I do like the decorative backsplash in the back, and it is a, another panel. It's not just, you know, a wallpaper on the wall. It is an actual raised panel, so that it is a little bit easier to clean up, you know, if you start getting splatters. But on top of that, this does fold back just like so, and the glass kind of doubles as a backsplash there too. This is a three burner cooktop, the front one being high output. You have an oven underneath, and if you want a light, you can see the knobs light up, oven light there too. Otherwise, of course, you keep that folded down and that just becomes additional prep space. You'll see the large sink. It is a large single bowl. The nice thing about having a big single bowl is if you have residential pots and pans, they'll generally fit in the sink. Whereas if you have the divided bowl, a lot of times they won't. So um, I know that, you know, it's, it's kind of a couple different schools of thought. Some people love them, some people hate them. As far as like washing and rinsing, most people will just get like a little tub you can buy them at the dollar store, sit it in there, and that way you, you know it kind of compartmentalizes the sink if you uh, if that's what you desire. You'll see the high-rise faucet there, window right behind it, LED light up top, and then of course storage with the frosted glass. Now, one other thing I want to point out, folks, you have a lot of outlets in this RV. We saw the two USB ports in the bunks. You saw the electrical outlet by the dinette. You have electrical outlet, USB ports here, and if you take a look up by the, the queen bed, you'll see that you have them on both sides of the bed too. So plenty of places to plug in your electronics. You have actual nightstands that are built in. So if you have a CPAP machine, there's a spot you can put it. There's storage underneath. You know, maybe you're one that likes to read physical books at night, or maybe you like to read on an iPad. You can just slide that right in there, charge it nice and easily, pull it out when you want to read at night. You have the decorative kind of uh, almost shiplap wall there. It's pretty nice looking. Right up above that is a shelf. And then on both sides, you have mirrored wardrobe, so a place to hang your clothes. And if you take a look at the opposite wall, you will see right there is a mount for a TV. So if you want a TV in this RV, that's where it'll go. The connections are right above. Nice thing about that is if you get a swing arm mount, that can function both if you're sitting at the dinette or if you want to swing it this way, you're able to watch TV before bed. If we take a look underneath the sink, I just want to show you this before we head outside. You will see some additional storage right there, plus two full extension ball bearing drawers, a little spice rack. Um, I personally like having a couple of drawers in the kitchen. You definitely have to have one for your silverware, but it's always nice to have a second, whether it's for um, you know, some of your serving utensils, if it's for hot pads or kitchen towels, whatever else you may need, uh, it's always nice to have that second compartment. Now we make our way to the outside, a couple things I want to hit on up front. The first one, of course, being the power tongue jack. This makes life a lot simpler when you're talking about hooking up or disconnecting from your RV because you don't have to sit there and manually crank it. All you do is you just flip this right here and you can see that will raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light for added visibility at night. It's not a ton, but it'll at least light up your, your ball there so you're able to uh, connect a little bit easier. And in the rare event that it does fail, you can pop this cap off and that was a manual override so that way you're not stuck at your campsite. 220 
20 pound propane tanks behind that rails for your battery right down there you will see this one has solar prep so if you want solar simply buy the portable panels plug it in right there excuse me and it will trickle charge your battery you'll see the diamond dutch plating across the front that will help protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle three year warranty on there folks that's a big deal that three year structural warranty is currently the best in the industry it's one of the reasons a lot of people buy new and so that just helps you buy with confidence you also see it's a magnetic catch on there you can put it up just like that so that way when the kids come by and they go to slam this shut you're not breaking the plastic tabs right the magnets make it a lot easier big deal at least for me when we're talking about bunk models and take a look at the size of that pass through folks that is a huge pass through to have on a you know mid sized travel trailer uh you know i mean not only is it a large door so you can fit in larger items but it even goes back further so that you have all that space for everything that you want to bring along with you power awning there you can see the led light strip is lit up just touch a button roll it out same thing to have it go right back in simple simple super simple and easy to use this one has your um your hookup or prep if you want power stabilizer jacks now you'll see that it has standard jacks on there it does come with stabilizers if you want power it's already prepped so that everything's pre-wired so it is easier it's less expensive to have it installed um, you know some people want it some people don't the nice thing about this is if you don't want it you don't have to worry about it you don't have to pay for something you're not going to use solid steps on this unit too uh, very uh, just like the name implies a very solid step it's sturdy i'm over 200 pounds i can kind of run up and down here you'll notice that the steps don't really flex they also have aluminum treads aluminum doesn't rust you have the grip tape on there i, I wish the grab handle would have been a little bit bigger um you know if I, i'm being a little nitpicky here but you know if, if you go to take that first step it is a little bit of a reach now for me not a big deal but if you have bad knees you know, maybe if, uh, you know, your mom is coming or something, you know, she's a little bit older, your dad, whatever it may be. And again, they have bad knees, maybe just a little bit tough. It's definitely something if you want one, you can buy one. But, you know, I just wish it would have came from the manufacturer. Some, some small things, I suppose. Right outside the door is an electrical outlet. Pretty self-explanatory. A couple of uh, speakers up there. Now, those are connected to that multimedia center inside. And as I mentioned, that unit is uh, Bluetooth capable. And then right here in the back, same thing, magnetic catches, and you guessed it, an outside kitchen. One of the great things about having a bunk model is having a kitchen outside. We'll drop that lock down, that travel lock. You see this pulls out, this just locks into place like so. Open that up, two burner cooktop. You have the, uh, the little wings there, the side walls. So if you wanna do some cooking outside, you can. And then, of course, the refrigerator, too. That, again, is, um, you know, perfect if you have condiments, beverages, anything like that. It's a great place for it. Right outside in the back is your bumper. Square tubular bumper gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. That way it's not riding around with everything up front. You have the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. If you take a look right up top, you will see this unit comes with backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, again, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Cable inlet will be right back there. Termination is right down at the bottom. You can see both your black and gray tank valves are located there. 30 amp power cord here, just open that up. You can pull that out, plug it in. You're ready to rock and roll with shore power. You can power everything in the RV, including, of course, your AC and any TV you have installed. If you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you want to fill the fresh water tank. That's what this one will be for right here. Right down underneath that is your city water inlet. All right, folks, and there you have it. That is the 2021 Coleman Lantern LT 214BH. Again, this is a great mid-size travel trailer coming right around that 4,500 pound mark. It's right around 26 foot, has a ton of amenities. If you're interested and you want price and availability, all you have to do is click on the link in the description. That will show you the one that is closest to you and the best price that you can get. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker. Let's go, kids.